Good afternoon, mga mahal, my fellow guys. I am here at the place where I was last night <laughs> to read God's word, and uh, I was on that side. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We praise the Lord and we glorify you. Oh God, you are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. I was here in this part, and now I am in the other side there <laughs> yes God hallelujah thank you Lord for this wonderful wonderful time nice and quiet and it's not hot it's quite shady cloudy not really cloudy it's plain clouds but it's not that hot and there yeah, further with my duties in there they are looking around come on baby and the other one is there. Very cute. Ah, oh, come. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful creation. Oh, we praise you, Lord. We glorify you, O oh God, and we magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You are worthy of glory and honor and praise, Father. Yes, so, so good, Lord. So awesome. You are so, so wonderful. Hallelujah. Father God, thank you that you are with us, in us, through us, in you, Lord. Nothing is impossible, Father. You can make all things possible, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He was the first, oh, yes. He was the last, hallelujah. He was the came to life. Yes, Lord, you are alive forevermore. In us our works, amen. Let's be in faithful, hallelujah. Gain us our poverty, we should endure. Oh, yes, God, we have to endure. Gain us our tribulation, we should not fear. For your servant is greater than his master. Yes, Lord. His servant is greater than his master. He who has an ear, Amen. Let him hear, Hallelujah. He who has an ear, Amen. Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Oh God, Lord. And he who overcome receive eternal life. Yes, Father. We are overcomer, Lord, and as we always faithful, receive the crown of life, Father. Yes, God, as you are faithful to you, O Lord, yes, we will receive the crown of life, the crown of rejoicing, the incorruptible crown, the crown of glory, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we praise the Lord. We really go in front of the Father and we magnify you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that no weapon that is formed against us, Lord, all of us, your children, shall prosper. It won't prosper. And every time, hallelujah, he who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of Almighty. We will see of the Lord. He is our God, our righteous. <laughs> and how well protect us, Father God. Cover us with your precious blood, Jesus. God, thank you for your loving kindness every morning and your faithfulness at night. His love is, your love is new every morning, new every morning. I am grateful for your love to me. Sorry, I'm back. Jesus, Jesus, we enthrone you. We proclaim you are king, yes Lord, we are proclaiming you are our king, standing here, 
Bye bye. In the next, huh? No, I'm just doing something. <laughs> Not really photo with you. Standing here in the midst of us. We raise you up with our praise, yes, Lord. And as we worship, build your throne, yes, Father. And as we worship, build your throne. And as we worship, build your throne. Come, Lord Jesus. And take your place, yes, Lord, thank you. Father God, as we read your word, help us to understand, oh God, Lord. Give us, Father, the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you, oh God, as we continue to read your word. In Jesus' mighty name, in the name of our names we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, Maha. let's carry on reading God's word now in the book of Job. Chapter 39. And let's see what this God is saying us here. Although it says here, Isaiah chapter 42, verse 6. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness. I will take hold of your hand. Although I cannot find your hand to lead me onto promised land, I still believe with all my being. Your hand is there beyond my seeing. Amen. Thank you, Father. And uh, this is the day to scrutinize your surroundings. If you can't locate God's hand, be assured that He will find yours. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Another thing here says that um, John chapter 17, verses 9 to 10. I am praying for them. I am not praying for the world but for those who have given me you have given me for they are yours all mine are yours and all yours mine i am and i am glad i am glorified in them amen thank you father hallelujah yes lord we belong to you jesus we belong to father god for, for if we have jesus we have god as well <laughs> for they are one yes amen thank you lord thank you father for praying for us in Jesus' mighty name. In times of trouble, it helps to remember to whom you belong. Amen. I belong to Jesus. Amen. It says here also that whenever we acknowledge our own weakness, God has a chance to pour out His strength in our lives. Amen. Thank you, Father. Another thing here says that it is, is it is it so small a thing to have enjoyed the sun, to have lived light in the spring, to have loved, to have thought, to have done? Mm -hmm. Ah, thank you, Lord. Amen. Is it so small? <laughs> no, it's not. Thank you, Lord. Is it so small a thing to have enjoyed sun and everything? God, thank you. <laughs> we enjoy all your creation, the spring, the sun, the moon, the stars, all the surroundings, Lord. It's really a joy. Amen. Amen. Come on, Mahal. Let's continue on reading God's word now. Again, in the book of Job, chapter 39, we stopped here. Hallelujah. The Lord's challenge continues. Do you know when the wild goats give birth? Have you watched as deer are born in the, well, in the wild? Do you know how many months they carry their young? Are you aware of the time of their delivery? They crouch down to give birth to the young and deliver their offspring. The young grow up in the open fields, then leave home and never return. Who gives the wild donkey its freedom? Who unites who united its roots? I have placed it in the wilderness. Its home is the wasteland. It hates the noise of the city and has no driver to shout at it. The mountains are its pasture land where it searches for every blade of grass. Well, the wild ox consents of the tamed, will it spend the nights in your stall? Can you hitch a wild ox to a plow? Will its plow a field for you, given its strength? Can you trust it? Can you live and trust the ox 
to do your work? Can you rely on it to bring home for, you, for your grain and deliver it to your threshing floor? The ostrich uh, flaps her wings gladly, but they are no match for the feathers of the stork. She lays her, her eggs on top of the earth, letting them to wind in the dust. She doesn't worry that a foot might crush them or a wild animal might destroy them. She is harsh toward her young, as if they were not her own. She doesn't care if they die, for God has deprived her of wisdom. He has given her no understanding, but whenever she jumps up to run, she passes the swiftest horse with its rider. Have you given the horse its strength or clothed its neck with a flowing mane? Did you give it the ability to leap like a locust? Its majestic snorting is terrifying. It calls the earth and rejoices in its strength. When it changes out to battle, it laughs at fear and is unafraid. It does not run from the sword. The arrows rattle against it, and the spear lovely flush. Pause the ground fiercely and rushes toward into battle when the ram's horn blows. It snorts at the sound of the horn. It senses the battle in the distance. It quivers at the captain's commands and the noise of battle. It is, is it your wisdom that makes the hawk soar and spread its wings toward the south? Is it your wisdom? Mm. And is it your command that the eagle rises to the heights to make it to make its nest? Is it on the cliffs uh, making its home on a distant rocky crag? From there it hunts its prey, keeping watch with blazing eyes. Its young gulp down uh, blood, whether that there is a carcass, there you'll find it. Mm. Wow. Then the Lord said to Job, Do you still want to argue with Almighty? Are you God's critic, but you do have the answer? Job responded to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. And maybe we will read this again. Tomorrow, Father God, Lord, thank you for this time and opportunity for me, oh Father, to be able to read God's word here in this nice and quiet place. It's not so hot. And God, thank you, Lord. And indeed, Lord, hallelujah. We cannot argue with what you want for us, Lord, because you know it from the very beginning. And that, Lord, you know our... our, our <laughs> Our lives in your in the palm of your hands, Lord, and uh, thank you, Father, that you are with us, in us, through us, and in you, Lord, nothing is impossible. You can make all things possible, Jesus, and you love us with an everlasting love, my fellow God's beloved. If you have not received the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, you may receive He receive Him from your heart. He is knocking at the door of your heart. Come, let's receive Him. Lord Jesus, thank you for the forgiveness of my sins. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sins. Lord, I receive you as my Savior and Lord. Hallelujah. Um, cleanse me from my sins and make me the kind of person you want me to, to be. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Pray it from your heart to receive the Lord so that you will become a child of God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray, amen. My fellow God's beloved, if you have prayed that prayer and you receive the Lord from your heart wherever you are, you may be in the room, in your own room, you may be wherever you are, maybe you are walking and uh, uh, asking what's the meaning of life and uh, um, Jesus is inviting you. Jesus loves you so very much. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your love.
In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Thank you, mga mahal, for reading God's love letter with me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. And always remember that Jesus loves you. Goodbye, God bless, and take care. Let's read again tomorrow. Bye-bye.